How do I make an animated banner? Well, you don't need Photoshop, all you need is some graphics editing software. I'll be using Paint.net, which is free, surprisingly powerful, and linked in the description. I also use it for all my thumbnails, and I highly recommend it. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to make a complex animation where only certain parts of the picture move behind other translucent layers and with a 3D perspective, so your animation is probably going to be even easier than this. First, start up your software with a 2560 width and 1440 height pixel canvas. That's 144dp. This is paint.net and I'm going to drag and drop this image in four times because my example animation will be four frames long. Now I'm going to process each one slightly differently using the rotate tool using the parameters I have written down in the TXT document on the right. I write everything down in a TXT because that way I won't forget how I process each image if I ever need to redo it. We'll save it as a PNG for now because we're adding it to another image. Once that image is finished, we'll save that one as a GIF. Now select the second image at the top and process that one slightly differently to the first, then the third and so on. Then save each image as a PNG with a logical systematic name like this. Every object like this pickaxe and sword graphic that you want to move in your final banner will need a different picture for every frame of animation. Here we have my complete channel banner. The parts I want to animate are the pickaxe and sword background graphics, the text and the shadows behind the text. I have four different versions of these lined up across the top. I've rotated the graphics differently to the text and the text differently to the shadows which will make them move at different speeds and this is what simulates a 3D perspective in a 2D software. First I'm deleting the shadows from my default banner, then copy and paste the first rotated shadow into the first banner, then the second shadow into the second banner and so on. Now when replacing the pickaxe and sword layer, you can get cool effects by opening the layer properties and changing the mode, which I'm using to make it softer and less distracting. You can press F4 to open the layer properties faster. This is the official template for making channel banners, link in the description. We've been working with a 1440p image so far, but we're going to crop it to 2560 by 423 and then save it and then uncrop it back to 2560 by 1440 which will replace most of it with white space in order to reduce the file size so you can fit more frames into your animation. Every image for your GIF animation will need to be saved as a GIF. Now you have all your frames ready, go to a GIF Maker website like the one linked in the description and upload your images in the right order. Make sure it's set to 2560 by 1440 or 1440p and click create now and save it once it's done. Then click the button in the top right of your banner and upload your new GIF banner like normal. And that's all there is to it, you're done! If you found this tutorial useful, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed or liked or left a comment telling me what you want me to do next, and I will see you next time.